The second part of our notes included the kinetics of radioactive decay, and we had this discussion about that every radioactive sample has a decay rate or the amount that the particles will decay over time, that this is a first order process, and that it's a derivative of the first order reaction. And I gave you that equation to go with it. And then we talked about a half-life, that the half-life is the length of time required for the concentration of a reactant to decrease to half of its initial value. And that as you did this over and over time, you would produce an exponential graph. And that the equation that we use is this T1 half equals 0 0.693 over K. And then I gave you this statement here that a fast reaction with a short T half has a large K and a slow reaction with a long T half has a small K. So we got into our first problem here um, and we were given we were given K and we're asked for the half-life and so the only problem that we use to find our half-life is always this relationship here. And since I was given K, then this is a simple, I'm just going to put my numbers in. And I produce that my T1 half equals 31500 uh, three seconds. Okay. So then we felt pretty confident about that. We moved on to the next problem, which had a little bit more with it. And so, reading through this, I even wrote the equation up there, but we'll start with that we were given the initial concentration. So this is our AO. And we were given... our other concentration, which is our AT. And then we were given this three hours. That's our T. And that's it. And so we're asked to solve for half-life, and as soon as you see that, I want you thinking T1 half equals 0 0.693 over K. So have that in your head, and then look at your problem and ask yourself, was I given K? Well, no, I wasn't given K. I was given my concentration. So the only way that I can get to my K is I've got to go back to my relationship at the natural log of the concentration initial over the concentration of time equals kt. Okay? Now, the one thing that many of you caught was it says minutes. So, simple fix. We're going to take this three hours, and you guys were fast on this. You said three hours is 180 minutes. Because you just got to multiply by 60. Great job. And now all I got to do is I got to put my concentrations in and I got to solve. So I come over here and I go natural log of 1.00 moles per liter over 1.21 E negative 3 mole per liter equals K times 180. So, let's go to our handy dandy calculator and we'll do natural log 1.00 divided by 1.21 second E, which is a comma, negative, oops, 
I did two of those. I'm going to check myself there. Okay. Negative three. And I get 6.7. So I get 6.7, and so I got to divide by 180 to isolate my K, and I get 0 0.0373. So T one half equals zero point six nine three divided by zero point zero three seven three. And I'm gonna get since this minutes underneath T one half when I calculate it is eighteen point six minutes.